Dream King Films. We're here with head coach Lawrence Johnson of the Ed White Commanders. Hey coach, you've been on the field about two weeks now with your squad real quick. Just talk to me about that and let me know what excites you about this group. I think it's a real good group. We got good energy. All the kids are coming out here working hard. Uh, we don't have very many people missing, so we're getting a, a, a good percentage of our team, which is good during this time of the year. So it, I, I think we'll, we have a really good bunch right now. And be, because of that, I, I think we we have an opportunity to be successful this year. Yes, sir, Coach, just talk about how hard you've been working these guys over these past two weeks. Well, we push them every day. So we, we, we come out here, it's hot. Um, they, they've got to get acclimated to it again, but we're pushing them to the brink. And, and some of them are, are taking care of their bodies and, and doing what they're supposed to be doing. And, and some of them aren't as in shape because they've been inside for the last three months, but we're going to get there. Yes, sir, Coach, let's talk about some of your weapons. Let's start with the defense. What is you about that side of the ball? Well, the defense is the defense has the most returning players. We got a lot of guys who got a lot of minutes last year. So uh, we got a, at least half of the defensive line is returning. We got a bunch of good young linebackers. And we got a, a big, strong secondary coming back, too. Yes, sir. Coach Jordan Lauer, real quick, can you talk about his skill set and um, your expectations for him this upcoming season? Well, Jordan Lowry is, is a very hard worker. Um, he, he's, he's got a very good motor. Uh, he's always, he's kind of relentless. He gets the guys going in the, the weight room also. So I'm expecting him to have a good year. And he's, to me, he's made a, a big jump. Again, especially in the weight room. So he's always in the weight room working hard. Yes, sir, Coach, kind of like the same question for Kevin Green. Um, he's one of the better linebackers in the area. He's poised to have a breakout season as well. Can you talk about his skill set and your expectations for him? Well, Kevin Green is another high motor kid, and he can he can just run. So he, he's got a lot of speed, and we got a lot of speed pretty much everywhere on defense. All those guys can run. So they're not as big as the group last year, but they can run and run down plays, and they can get after the quarterback and, and get after the football. Yes, sir, Coach. Give me something on your DVs. You got uh, Javon Rivers, Devon Patterson, a um, couple more other guys like that that's going to be getting at it real quick. Coach, just talk about those DBs and what it's like. Well, they, they make a lot of plays. So they, they had a bunch of interceptions last year, and we have a lot of them coming back. We have uh, Rivers, who, who kind of – Made a lot of the big hits last year as well as Devon Patterson, who's probably one of the, the top underclassmen DBs in the state. And we, we have people like Sherman McLean, who's going to uh, move up for us this year and make a lot of big plays. And Ja'Kylie Johnson, who's going to make a lot of plays for us also. He led the team in interceptions last year. Yes, sir, Coach. Uh, Devon Patterson, young guy, he made our top 100 list last year. Uh, can you just talk about his skill set and what he brings to the table? Well, he's a big kid. He started as a freshman for us last year, and he had a real good season. Um, he he was probably in the at least on the top half of the teams in tackles. He he had a lot of PBU, so he's kind of all over the field um, playing at that safety position. Yes, sir. Same question with Sherman, Coach. He made our top 100 list for the class of 2022. Can you talk about his skill set? Sherman Sherman is, is getting bigger. So uh, last year, Sherman kind of got some some a little bit of playing time, but this year we're expecting him to make a big jump. So he's been working hard in the weight room. He's probably put on maybe 20 to 30 pounds since last season, and he's gained or grown about two or three inches as well. So I'm expecting big things from him. Do you think Sherman can make that jump this year, Coach? I think he can. So it, it's all on him. All he's got to do, if he comes out here and he learns what to do, I think he has the athleticism to get it done. Yes, sir, Coach, let's talk about your offense. What is the show about that group? The offense is young, so we got a, a long way to go. I, I knew uh, one of the big things I was looking forward to this year was spring football, and, of course, we didn't have an opportunity to do that with the coronavirus. But we, we still are going to get out here and we're going to work. We got a new quarterback coming in. We got a bunch of new offensive linemen, but they're a talented group. So I, I, as long as they know what to do, they're going to go out there and they'll be able to perform at a high level. And then we have Patterson, who I, I believe is the best back in Northeast Florida. And I think he's going to have an opportunity to show that this year. Yes, sir, Coach. J.P. Patterson just recently committed to Bowling Green State University. Talk about your, uh, your bell cow coach and what he bring to the table. Well, he's definitely going to get a lot of work this year. So uh, it, if everybody who's expecting to play us, they know they've got to stop him. So we, we got other guys who've got to also step up and make plays for us as well. Because everybody's going to kind of probably try to load the box to stop him. He's a, a big time weapon, and even when they load the box, he still has an opportunity to make a lot of plays for us. Yes, sir, Coach. Give me a sign on those guys from on the outside. On the outside, we 
we, we're still trying to kind of fill that out. Like I said, we got a, a whole new group. We had a senior group of receivers last year, and we got a bunch of guys who are going to be competing for the spot. So uh, it's a lot of still things still up in the air, and we got to decide when we get the fall camp. So I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be a, 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 an exciting fall camp because there's a lot of uncertainty, and we're, we've got a lot of talented guys who are going to be fighting for positions, which it makes for a good spirited practice. Yes, sir, Coach Gabriel Garman. He made our top 100 list as well. Can you talk about his skill set and what he bring to the table? Uh, Garman is, is a, a fresh, or he's going to the 10th grade, but he made a big jump too. So he's grown a few inches and he's starting to fill out as well. So I'm expecting him to be one of those guys kind of competing for one of those spots. And I think he has what it takes to get it done. Yes, sir, Coach Michael Simmons, one of the overall better kids in this area, uh, flying under the radar. But can you talk about his skill set? And also, Coach, why do you think Michael flying under the radar? I, I think it's because he is he's not as big as some of the, the what the college is like but he is just as talented as, as some of these Division One receivers out here. So this year we're gonna play him and feature him in a lot of different spots. He's gonna be playing DB for us, he'll be playing some receivers, and he'll also be a return guy for us like he was last year. So I'm expecting him to make a lot of big plays on both sides of the ball this year. Yes, sir, Coach, let's go out the, uh, out the field for a minute. Uh, what you teaching these guys off the field, Coach? We know what you're teaching them on the field, but just talk about briefly what you're teaching them off the field. Well, we're always trying to get them to do the right thing. So. Uh, that's kind of our thing. If we do the right thing in the classroom, uh, in the community, then I think we'll be where we need to be. So if you do the right thing, uh, again, being respectful, uh, making sure you're you're doing what your parents are telling you to do, make sure you're doing what your coaches are telling you to do. And I think that's setting them up in a good position to, to be successful in life. Yes, sir, Coach, you spoke on it briefly, but spring football, we all missed out on that. But how did you, your coaching staff and your team adjust during that period? Well, it was tough. Um, we, we try, I keep contact with the guys year round. Um, so we, we're always in, in group messages. So I communicate with the guys just about every day. Um, I, I have a situation where most of the football players are uh, lifting weights in, in my class for gym. So I, I was able to keep track with them that way too. And it's, so they're lifting weights a lot of times as part of their class grade as well. So uh, that, that's one of the, the positives. So we had a lot of people lifting during the off season. And of course, when we couldn't come to school, they were doing other things at home, like push-ups and, and running and all types of things that we're doing with body weight. So um, we're, we're trying to keep them engaged. And, and for the most part, they were doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yes, sir, recruiting wise, coach, how did you and your staff adjust? And what are some of the things you did to keep your, uh, your player's name in the win? Well, you, you gotta kind of reach out to these coaches. So uh, I, I did that through emails, I, I call, and, and then when they could call, they also call, and and they, they just want to hear about the guys that you have, and, and you try to promote as many of them as you can, and and sell them to many of the different schools. And, and really, I think there's a place to go for everybody, as long as they're doing what they're supposed to be doing in the classroom as well. Yes, sir, Coach, socially, we all know what's going on around the world. Did you get the chance to talk to your team about anything going on in the world, Coach? Uh, we, we didn't have an opportunity to talk to them. Uh, together about some of those things that were going on with, with police brutality and, and all those other things. But um, we'll, we'll have an opportunity uh, maybe later in the summer when we can get them all together and we might have some guest speakers. We, ha we actually have a, an officer uh, on our staff, so it's kind of a unique situation for us too. Yes, sir, Coach, before we get out of here to the class of 2024, that's going to be a very special class academically as well as athletically. But to the kids that may be finding it hard to get acclimated to the new normal, any words of encouragement or advice you got out there for, for any kid that may be coming to Ed White or any school across the district, Coach? Well, it's all about working hard and doing the right thing. So if you go out there and you, you're doing what the coaches are asking you to do, you stick with it so you're, you don't just quit at the first time or take the easy road. Um, you fight through some adversity, I think you're going to prepare yourself to, to do well in life. Hey, Coach, thanks for talking with me. Good luck to your future. All right, thank you. Appreciate you, Coach.